My name is Marvin L. Anderson. Um, I was born in Hanover, Virginia. Uh, uh, 1982, I went to trial and was convicted of two counts of rape, sodomy, robbery, and abduction. I uh, was sentenced to a total sentence of 210 years. I spent 15 years in prison uh, and five years on parole before I was exonerated in 2001. When they first called me down to talk to them, like I was at work, they started questioning me about um, did I know anything about a rape that took place over the weekend, and uh, and I informed them, you know, only what I knew from hearing in the neighborhood that yeah, someone was raped and who did it. Before we arrived at the county jail, they had stopped by the victim's apartment. The photo spread that she was shown to were all black and white pictures, mugshots. Well. I've never been in trouble with the law before, so there wasn't a mugshot of me anywhere. And the investigator officer retrieved a uh, work ID, which is a color you know, photo. Each time they showed her photographs of a you know, photo mug, my picture was in each set, that one color picture. And by doing that, you know, you're looking at a photo spread of all black and white pictures and one color pictures keep showing up, eventually it's going to stick in your mind. And that was what stood out in her mind, a picture of me. From day one, everyone in the community knew who committed the crime. Um, when I was arrested for it, you know, the community was, you know, wait a minute, they had the wrong person. He was there that day in court. Um, so it wasn't like they had to go find him. He was there. Um, as a matter of fact, when I walked in the courtroom that morning, he was already on trial for assault on a female. So it wasn't like they had to go clean across the county to find this man. He was already there in court. The trial lasted approximately about maybe two, two and a half, three hours. The jury was out no more than four to five minutes. When I first went, I was 18 years old. You know, young man beginning his life, you know, life journey. I went in scared. I went in as a child, but yet over the years I grew into a, a man that I am today. So I was paroled in 97 and five years later, you know, I'm still fighting for my freedom. I was on Interstate 95 uh, on my way home from work, um, driving a tractor trailer and Peter called me up on the phone. And, you know, normal questions, hey Marvin, how you doing? Uh, this is Peter Newfell. Um, what are you doing? And I was like, I'm on the interstate heading home. And that's when he said, well, we found your evidence. And I can't officially say you've been excluded, but you've been excluded. And I was like, oh my goodness. <laughs> you know, I was like, Peter, wait a minute. I said, man, I'm on 95. I'm driving a big truck. Let me get home. I'm only five minutes away from home. And he was like, okay, call me back when you get home. So I'm... You know, I'm driving along, and you're like, man, you're going to be free. You know, you finally can prove your innocence. 